Bangladesh tour of South Africa, 2017 Aidan Markram was part of South Africa's squad in the recently concluded Test Series against England. Getty Aidan Markram will make his much-anticipated debut for South Africa in the first Test against Bangladesh next week after the 22-year-old was elected to open the batting alongside Dean Elgar. Markram's teammate from the UNDER 19 World Cup winning side of 2014, all-rounder Andal Falakweo, could also debut in Pachevstrom as the Pradias grapple with injuries to several key players. Markram's elevation to the test side looked a certainty after he opened the Sunfall Series season with 119 in front of chief selector Linda Zondi and new head coach Otis Gibson at Supersport Park on Tuesday. Markram went on to add 87 in the second innings of the first match's Titans' new four-day captain. Although Elgar has been a reliable presence at the top of South Africa's order, identifying his best partner became difficult after Stephen Cook lost form at the start of the year. Cook was replaced by Tunis De Bruyne for the final test of the three-match series against New Zealand in March, before Heino Kuhn took over the duties for the firmage series in England. Kuhn's struggles in that series, when he failed to record a half-century, left his place in doubt for the Bangladesh series, and his omission was confirmed when he failed to recover from an injury picked up in the final test at Old Trafford. With Cook making just 20 in his first innings of the new season for the Lions, the selectors opted to look to the future by picking Markram, who was part of the South African touring squad in England. Aiden has been knocking on the door for some time now, South Africa's selection convener Linda Zondi said. He gained valuable insight into the Proteus team culture during the tour of England, and he has shown maturity beyond his years, having captained South Africa to victory in the UNDER 19 World Cup and as captain of the South Africa A four-day side. While Markram's form and record have suggested that he is ready to step up to test cricket after 33 first-class games, he has five centuries and averages 42 Felicueo may be pushed into it by circumstance. The 21-year-old has already made his mark in international limited overs cricket, but has enjoyed less success in the longer format, averaging 18 with the bat and 35 with the ball in 26 first-class matches. Nevertheless he is seen as a future all-rounder in all formats, and the injuries to Vernon Philander and Chris Morris left South Africa short on options. Although Wayne Parnell has been named in a 13-man squad despite not playing for the Cobras this week, he will undergo a fitness test next week to determine whether he is up to the rigors of test cricket. Ninatine-year-old Wayne Mulder will stand by as cover for Parnell. The inclusion of Andal and Wayne provides the necessary all-rounders to give options as concerns the balance of the starting side, said Sandy. The selection of some younger players is part of the process to build for the future and at the same time maintain our hard core of experience. The squad has only been selected for the first test and it is hoped that Philander could be available for the second match in Bloemfontein on October 6. Philander is expected to turn out for the Cobras in the second round of Sunfall Series fixtures in a bid to prove his fitness. South Africa squad Faf du Plessis C, Hashim Amla, Temba Bavuma, Dunis De Bruyne, Quinton de Kock, Dean Elgar, Keshav Maharaj, Aidan Markram, Morn Markle, Duane Olivier, Wayne Parnell, and Ophela Cueo, Kajisa Rabada Krikbis from around the web commence.